International Maritime Organization has mandated adoption of the Energy Efficiency Design Index for all vessels contracted since 2013. IMO also resolved to reduce the noise generated by a ship to 3 decibels within 10 years and to 10 decibels within 30 years to conserve marine mammals and fish. Accordingly, the global shipbuilding industry is making all-out efforts to improve the propulsion efficiency and protect the marine environment. Dr. Hanshin Sol's team at Korea Research Institute of Ships and Ocean Engineering has world-class technologies in this field. Based on systematic researches on improvement of propulsion efficiency and noise reduction, Dr. Sol's team developed innovative technologies that are indispensable for development of eco-friendly ships. Only 70% of the power of ship propeller is used for propulsion, and the rest disappears due to friction, heat loss, vortex, and so on. In order to increase the propulsion efficiency of the ship, it is necessary to minimize the loss by improving the design technique of the propeller and developing the high-efficiency propeller appendages. Various types of strong cavitation occur in the propeller. This is the main cause of noise and vibration of ship, loss of propulsion efficiency, and propeller and rudder erosion. Dr. Sol's team has managed to not only enhance propulsion efficiency, but reduce radiated noise using a technology that improves the propeller cavitation. The existing ship propeller hub has a round cup-shaped cover. Its sleek shape, contrary to expectations, creates strong vortex flow and forms a strong hub vortex cavitation. In an attempt to inhibit the formation of vortex, the team developed a new propeller cap in a different shape called K-cap. It can improve the propulsion efficiency while efficiently inhibiting formation of hub vortex cavitation. K-cap and fin is a combination of K-cap and a simple shaped plate. The fin attached helps absorb the rotational energy behind the propeller and removes the propeller hub vortex cavitation while improving the propulsion efficiency. It reduces propeller broadband noise and prevents rudder erosion by completely eliminating hub vortex cavitation. With an improved efficiency of the propeller, it showed excellent performance in the model test results. The Chriso Vortex Generator is a structure built in front of the propeller. It controls the flow of fluid into the propeller to improve the propulsion efficiency and reduce the noise and vibration of the ship. Other conventional energy-saving devices are installed in the form of a fin or duct close to the propeller. With such a structure, the propulsion efficiency can be improved by the pre-swirl effect, but propeller cavitation can be increased, causing erosion to the propeller. In addition, existing energy-saving technologies have the form of large structures, so they make the maintenance difficult and show structural problems. On the other hand, the technology developed by the research team improves the propulsion efficiency by attaching the vortex generator to the front hull of the propeller and reduces the underwater radiated noise of the ship by improving characteristics of the propeller cavitation. Thanks to its relatively small size and simple shapes, KVG can be easily applied to most ships with little side effect. This technology has excellent performance in improvement of propulsion efficiency and underwater radiated noise reduction. In the case of large commercial vessels, more than $700,000 a year in operating costs can be saved. It is an eco-friendly, high-efficiency ship technology. It has excellent structural stability, enhances propulsion efficiency, 
improves the cavitation phenomenon of the propeller, reduces noise and vibration of the ship, and prevents erosion of the propeller and rudder. Especially these technologies are applicable not only to new build ships, but also to retrofit of existing ships to eco-friendly, high efficiency ships. In relation to the technologies, five of the eight domestic patent applications have been registered and international patents have been filed. As the IMO regulations on greenhouse gas emissions and regulations on marine environment protection are strengthened, the demand for related technologies is explosively increasing, and the economic value of this technology will be highly recognized for a long time. 저희가 이번에 개발한 기술은 기존 기술 대비 성능도 우수할 뿐만 아니라 어, 부작용도 없고 또한 어, 가격적인 측면에서 또 유지 보수적인 측면에서 굉장히 우수하기 때문에 어, 기존 선박뿐만 아니라 신조선에 모두 적용할 수 있고 그래서 국내에 많은 조선소 해운사로부터 현재 관심을 받고 있습니다. 그리고 조만간 상용화를 앞두고 있습니다. It has been recognized as the highest level technology to achieve for the development of eco-friendly vessels. Thus, it will contribute to humanitarian efforts to preserve the marine environment and provide a new growth engine for the stagnant domestic shipbuilding industry. Ultimately, it will be recognized as a proud science and technology research achievement.